Hi, Mia. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? Yeah, good, thanks. I just couldn't help but notice that your character's last name is Novak, Mm. and it sounds a little bit Polish to me. Uh, Mm. I'm just curious if there's any mysterious explanation behind it. Yeah, I mean, it came to me that way and we never really, I mean, Jessica and I, I mean, she was always Miss Novak and we never really ended up or, or she never had any specific place she was from, but we, you know, Europe somewhere. So, <laughs> but for sure, it could be Polish. <laughs> mm. Your first love was ballet, and ballet is everything about uh, discipline, physical regime, and Club Zero explores these uh, themes. So, of course, the, it explores also themes such uh, as identity, belonging, or social expectations. So, and I wonder if there are any personal experiences from your own childhood or life. Uh, that you found resonated with these themes uh, while working on the film. Mm. Mm. Um, I I just when I read the script was really moved by the teenagers. Um, I. I don't know, I liked the portrayal of teenagers in this film because it disturbed me that, you know, of course they're so vulnerable and, and they in a way are sort of manipulated. Um, and at the same time, Miss Novak is sort of offering them some kind of empowerment that they're not sort of getting anywhere else. Um, it's just unfortunate that it's like used for her own kind of motive in a way. Um not to sort of individually help them flourish in whichever way they want but uh, it was moved it was moving to me that 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 the teenagers in this were like really aware of the 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 issues of the time and really joined this class to try to do something about it and it showed the real like open hearted sort of part of teenagers that i just thought was really um moving I guess that they it's not sort of the stereotypical teenager that's kind of like cranky and and running late or you know it was like this really um I like a different side less typical side of teenagers that was really sweet and and sort of devastating in the context of the story Yeah, but why would you care about the topic of um, of teenagers? why You would I care uh, I yeah. don't know I just I I don't know. I it just it's the sort of thing it just turned up and I was like this is great. <laughs> I mean, you know, I was one, everyone was. <laughs> Yeah. well, hopefully. And um, and you know, I also have my nieces and nephews and watching them grow up and it's I yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think it's I think it's so difficult to And be I feel a... for teenagers right now, actually, because I think I was so anxious anyway. And I think if you're a teenager and you're growing up and it's like climate change, oh, like, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's so difficult to be a teenager like nowadays. Totally. And I mean, yeah, I mean, probably any time, but nowadays, I mean, at least when I was a teenager, we didn't have Instagram and I don't know, Yeah. somehow think that would just be hell. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think you're already I think already such a strange time and you add like Instagram and blah blah blah. Yeah. And you still don't have an Instagram, right? Oh, I sort of no. Let's go with no. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. Mm, Not your something like your character appears to be somewhat of an outsider mm. in the world in depicted in the film and uh, how did you approach portraying this sense of isolation and peculiarity Mm. I don't know. It was all just there. It was written very well. I thought like she is a strange character and I don't know. Uh, it was just written so well. Everything felt easy in a way. Like, you know, it made sense for the character. Um, but it was, it was interesting. Like, yeah, my perspective on it was kind of more obvious when I first read it and then Jessica's direction was to take everything obvious out, which in a way is a bit more sort of um, scary because she's ends up being quite nice, <laughs> you know. She's not obviously like 
I mean, maybe she is, but, you know, anytime there was the possibility of playing something more obviously manipulative, she'd want me to do the opposite. So then um, what specific aspects of Jessica Hausner's film aesthetics or her personality influenced you, your decision to collaborate with her? Uh, well, I sort of, I actually hadn't seen any of her films before. I got the script, but, and then obviously I did, a, I watched all her films after. And I, I mean, I loved the script when it came with no, you know, not having seen her films. Um, I thought it was so strong. And then I watched her films and I loved seeing her like voice grow. I loved that she, you know, started quite young and you could see her grow as an artist, like, expressing herself over her um, career. And I thought that was amazing to, to I, I think it doesn't happen so much anymore that people get the chance to make so many films. I, I don't know. I, just thought, I mean, she's done so much and she's, you know, very young. So, yeah, I, I, I like it. And they're all quite different and distinct but different. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, you decided to come back to Australia. Uh, I wonder what are gains earned, what are loss, lo losses, you know, I mean, in, in the process of, of, of this coming back to Australia. Mm. Well, I never really moved over to America full time or anything. I just was always yeah. there. And then, but for sure, I never moved permanently to America and I think just um, my family's here and my siblings had children and you want to be part of the very like simple reasons why I live here just because of that <laughs> and um, yeah my family's here and and also I think it's quite good to have a bit of distance from living you know in an industry town um, you know or in the same town that your industry is dominant I think it's it's nice for me to get some distance does your mom speak Polish sometimes mm. yeah she does yeah. yeah yeah what are her favorite Polish words oh or... I don't know I feel like the Polish words that I know the most oh I so she speaks Polish with my grandma okay and I always say I can understand them because They just yell at each other and I know them. <laughs> I know them, so I know what they're talking about. But that's sort of <laughs> outside of the cocoon of them. I don't I don't have such good um Polish understanding. Yeah. <laughs> no, but so, I love them. they're great. So what does your typical day look like uh, since you've been living in Australia? I mean, have you found that your life slowed down a bit or changed in any significant way? Yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, I live here in Sydney. Um, uh, I mean, you know, I work. Usually, work is overseas or in another town. Like it's very. I don't think I've ever had a job. I mean, I've never had like a long term filming job in Sydney. Um, so, works always elsewhere. I mean, I don't know. I walk my dog and go shopping and cook food and. Uh, see people occasionally yeah simple is that true that you take care of uh two kangaroos what no i just heard in an interview but maybe it was just a joke i'm not sure about it but <laughs> must be a joke i wish i did take care of two kangaroos thank you so much uh for your time and awesome. i hope to see you sometime in poland maybe that's great thank you thanks very much <laughs> thank you bye bye Bye.